Now I'm going to show you how to set a custom scale for out of scale plans. First, just to review, you can store up to 10 custom scales, so 5 for metric and 5 for US. To get into custom mode, simply press the mode key to see the word open and custom. Now there are two ways to roll a, to set a custom scale, rolling or entering. For this example, I'm going to show you how to roll a custom scale. First, I'm going to look at my plan and I'm going to find the longest known dimension. Let's use this truck dock length of 26 point, say, 2 meters. I'm going to check the units on the display. It's showing millimeters. I want to change that to meters, so I just press the units button until I get to meters. Then I press set, scale, and it's prompting me to roll that length. I line up my cursor and roll that length until I get to the end, and then lift. Press the scale button. Now it's prompting me to enter the, um, the numerical value for that length. So we want to enter 26.2. I use the left and right arrow keys right here to move over to the position that we need to enter. So that would be correct. And then I want to use my up and down arrow keys to enter the number 1, 2. And then I move over another space, enter the 6. One more space and enter the 2 and press set to set the scale. Now what I like to do is confirm my measurement with a reroll. I just simply clear the unit, line up in the same space I was before, make sure that's on zero, and roll. Twenty-six point zero. So now that I know my Scalemaster Pro is calibrated to this out of scale plan, I can proceed with doing the rest of the takeoff knowing it's the scale. So that's a quick overview of how to roll a custom scale. For more details, you can download our user's guide at www.calculated.com/support.